everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora and thank you so much for watching. So for today's video, it is all about the little princess of the castle, the old princess. Today's video is all about Bebe and all the things that I've purchased for her on the internet. Honestly on Amazon, I buy everything on Amazon. I bought all her things on Amazon. So today's video is just a collection of everything I have bought Bebe on Amazon. Oh, don't bite me. Yeah, so if you want to hang out with me and Bebe and you want to know what shenanigans we're going to be getting into, then keep on watching. Okay, you guys, let's begin. The first product that I'm probably... She's more obsessed with than I am personally. This is her, like, window hammock. I guess you can call it. That's what they call it on the website. It was $17 and I got it on Amazon and it's literally the best thing because it has the, these two suction little moments and then two down here. When she like pisses me off and I don't want her to get off, like I can actually just remove it and do this little moment. It's pretty sturdy. I luckily, she has not fallen. I've had this now up for about a month. So I try to like check on it, but like She's also like a baby, so I get it. Like, she's not gonna be as heavy, so I guess I'll wait until she gets like nice and chunky. Good boy, duh. The sun is right on it in the morning, so like the first hour that, okay. You're so vocal now. And she literally wants me to like come rub on her. Is this your favorite thing? Yeah. Is it your favorite thing? You're so over me. It's fine, she's over me, it's fine. Come on, let's go on to the next one. Let's show them more of your things. Oh, I get baby. So then this is her infamous little cat scratcher. I've shown you guys this on my stories. It's really sturdy. As you can see, I can fully sit on it and it's sturdy as heck. And I weigh like around 150 pounds. So I don't usually sit on it, but I wanted to show you guys. It almost looks like art and she just basically can scratch it. She likes to get like underneath it. Like she'll go in there. And she'll just like hide. She'll be able to look at me. It's a little pricey. I'm not gonna lie. This is around like 50 something dollars. I have another brown one that's like around like 30 something dollars. And then I have like a cat tree. Definitely don't need this. I just wanted something that she could scratch on that was in my living room and looked like decor as opposed to like a cat scratching tree. It's a bit of an investment, not gonna lie. <laughs> ah, okay. So this is Bebe's box of sh I guess you can say. This is where I put all her things. So this is one of her favorite toys. I believe it was like $12 on Walmart and it just like goes around. But she's like pretty quick. So she always catches it and she gets it, makes it get stuck. And it has like different settings. So like you can like speed it up. A full exercise moment. Oh, okay. It used to have really long feathers. And she ate them all, so now it's like a little nub, a nub of feathers. But she has a bunch of different little toys. Like I even bought, what are these called, like pipe cleaners? She's obsessed with them. I think she likes the texture of it. And I can always kind of reshape them to create like different shapes. Of course, like a brush. I don't want to say unfortunately, but she is a shedder. So it's a thing I've learned from the very beginning. She is going to drop a lot of hair. Especially right now in the summer heat, she is definitely dropping a lot of hair, even though she's not outside that much. If you do have a cat, get a Chom Chom. This Laura Lee got me into, because you know she's the cat lady. It's basically you just like rub it on things, rub it on things. And you can put it on your furniture, on your bed, on different things and you rub it. And it basically just collects all like her hair in there. So as you can see, like there's like a bunch of dust and all these little things that like I usually don't see from her and it's all in here and you can just throw it away and it's not like a like a lint roller like I have a bunch of lint rollers because if I wear black and I like carrier you can see it but if you're not wanting to like lint roll your couch or your pillows definitely get a chom chom it's gonna be like the best thing ever so that made no sense basically the chom chom is for everything you don't lint roll because you can just throw away what's inside but you can't really lint roll your body for the lint roller because you throw it away you don't want to waste too many you know what I mean there's literally like strings, like she likes strings. We have like nail clippers. She loves feathers. She definitely loves feathers, like. <laughs> I don't think I can get a bird. Like that just wouldn't be her friend. And then we just have like a bunch of different toys. One thing that I definitely did learn 
don't spend too much money on toys because she likes the most random things. Like, I can buy her something really nice and she likes the Amazon box it came in far more. So don't spend too much money. That is something I definitely had to learn. All she really likes is a laser, a ball of paper, like wadded up, like a hard ball of paper, and a box. Like, it's her obsession. And sometimes, like, a little toy. I have, like, even little, like, chewing sticks that she doesn't even care for. I have a chewing toy that she doesn't even care for. I bought a lot of things that she doesn't care for, but sometimes love is an investment, so... Um, Whatever, I'll invoice her later when she starts making money for the family. Feathers. Feathers! So this is actually her favorite toy. It's basically a stick with feathers on the end. She's obsessed with it because it looks like a flying bird in a sense. And it makes like a little bit of noise. So I think she's gonna definitely be a hunter so yeah i want to say this was like 10 bucks on like amazon it's like the best thing ever like the cheaper the toy the more she tends to love it like even this little bad boy this was like i want to say like 12 dollars. it's like to me probably the dumbest toy but she is the most fascinated by it it's a toy that you can charge i like a rechargeable toy but it has like a little thing and it spins and when it's like on the floor it like Rolls around the house and she's obsessed with it because then she'll like go and follow it. Look, she's already like walking over here. Sometimes it sounds really weird, but she likes it to vibrate while she sits on it. It's kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but it's her toy and it is her life and she is in her home, so I'm not gonna judge her. Even though I'm low-key judging. It's your favorite toy. Put it on. Ah. Oh my god, I'm such an annoying parent. Okay, so because she's a cat and she comes from a large dynasty of felines, I got her like a little lion's mane hat thing. <laughs> it is the best thing in the entire world. She hates it. She fully hates me for even buying it, putting it on her. I think it's also like a little too big for her. It's definitely not for like a kitten. No, no, no. Don't get your head out of it. There we go. Um, so I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna keep it until she grows up and then I think it'll be the cutest thing. Like, look at her. <laughs> For it. <laughs> no! Keep on your lions. <gasps> Why are you biting it? Look how cute you look. Look at the cute little lion. Rawr. Rawr. Fully hates it, you guys. Look at this. I spent so much money on you. So much money. Probably the most expensive thing I've ever purchased for her, but to me, it is the best investment for her. This is her litter box. Oh. Are you gonna shit on camera? As you can see, she is an active user of this litter box. This litter box was $130. It is the kind of like fancier one. Laura told me, you'll be fine with like a regular litter box. You just clean it in the morning and at night and you'll be fine. Doing that every single day at one point just got extremely tedious and I just didn't want to deal with that anymore. So I thought I want an electronic litter box. I want it to be able to clean itself and I highly, highly suggest it with the, with the lid on top of it. I like it with the lid. It helps even more with the smell, but I bought the one that detects how um, whenever she's in there and it keeps track of how many times she's actually been inside the litter box. That's something that I personally like to know because now I kind of know what number I can then replace the litter because this brand also has litter trays that you can purchase and you just throw them away every single time. But I just thought I wanted something a little bit more because when she walks out, she has a little bit of litter. It just like gets stuck in there and then you just throw the litter back into the box. There's a tray underneath that I can reuse and every time I clean her litter box out, oh, she full on took a shit. I can smell it. Did you just on camera? 
Oh, I'm just like, it's getting in my mouth at this point. Let me just stand up and get away from it. The bottom part, I can re reuse in a sense. So I just get, I actually have the litter itself, the blue crystals on a subscription service on Amazon. And basically when it's ready to be cleaned out, I throw everything into a bag, scoop it all out. I take the tray outside, rinse it off wash it off and then I leave it in the sun because the sun drying it actually kills a lot of the germs. So it's super easy. I do it once every three weeks. I've noticed that I've had to change her litter box. Like right now it's at 39. She's used this litter box 39 times. Sometimes she just goes in there, which is annoying because it still counts it as her going in there, but she'll either pee or she'll poop and it just keeps track of every single time she's in there. And I change it around 40. Once it hits 40, I like to change it because once it hits 50, I can kind of smell it and I don't like that. So at 40, I change it out, scoop it out, and she's good to go. She loves a fresh box. My litter box is with yeah. Way to go, baby. If you have a cat and you have a baby cat who doesn't understand what to scratch, then you're going to need tape deterrent in a sense. It's this double-sided sticky tape. So it looks like this. You. Bebe likes to like jump on things and scratch things and she thinks that my couch is a scratching post, which I don't like, but it's like these little things. So it just comes off and the tape is there as you can see it. And it helps because this is a type of material that she loves to like dig her nails in and like pull herself. Cause she, they love the feeling of their nails kind of being pulled. She was f***ing up my couch every which way. So if you get tape to turn, highly suggest it. It's a great investment. I have only one roll and it's lasted me like two and a half months. Don't leave it on for too long. I left it on for too long one time and it was really difficult to remove. To take her places, I needed to buy one of these because she's definitely not an animal that likes to go into my car. I've tried to like take her on little car rides hates it, hates movement. But I'm very much aware that I'm gonna have to be taking her to like the vet or different places. I went over to a friend's house one time who had a cat and I had to take her in the box that I got her in. So I was like, I need to buy her like a proper bag. And I bought this one actually on Amazon. It is the TSA approved one. And I wanted to make sure it was TSA approved because just in case I go to Houston and I wanna travel with her, I have no idea what you're doing. Stop getting this stat. Okay. So see, it has like all these little moments where like you can open it up. It has like this cute little mat on the inside so she's comfortable. She's kind of like obsessed with it, not gonna lie. She loves to bite it, she loves to chew on it. Like even this side kind of drops down, then this side drops down. It's all mesh, it's super breathable, it's super cute. Like, I love this little thing for her. I, lo I love this for her journeys. Like, not gonna lie, I kind of want the backpack, that stupid backpack that you can put on your back and it's like, it looks like a scuba type of situation and the cat's in there and it's like looking out. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. But do I want it for you? Yes, I do. <laughs> now, last and certainly not least, y'all saw this in my I'm getting a cat vlog video and a lot of you were obsessed with it. So I was like, ooh, that's gonna be one of the reasons why I create this Amazon cat vlog situation. This is her water bowl. It is an, ele an electric water bowl. One thing that I read up on is that cats don't always like still water. And if you are gonna have still water, baby, we're filming a video. So I wanted like a very water fountain moment, but I didn't want like a cheap one to be quite honest. So I got this ceramic one, it is ceramic. She's never like hit it over. It's actually pretty heavy, so she never tosses it over. And it's just like this little water thing. There's a motor that goes in there that has a filter that pushes the water into this little cup and then it drips into this little moment. And whenever you can hear the water dripping, it means you have to add water. So that's one of the things that I really liked it was once it's full of water, you cannot hear it. And this is where my cat eats and drinks. And that is it everyone. That is everything that I have bought my little princess on Amazon. She is an Amazon whore as well as me. Um, we are obsessed with Amazon Tings. Clearly this is her favorite product. That is like why I showed y'all that the first time. I'm obsessed with buying her things. I don't know why. And like, I just think it's so cute to see her kind of react to new things. It's kind of like why I buy things on Amazon all the time because I like my reaction to new things. So 
yeah, I'll probably keep buying her stuff. Let me know down in the comment section down below if I need anything else off of Amazon that you would suggest for a cat. We just have to film the outro. That's it. That's it. That's your only part all day. You've been sleeping all day. <laughs> oh my God. Um, but yeah, you guys, I am obsessed with buying her things. I'm obsessed with the I mean, you wouldn't need like a full video. Maybe on my next makeup and opinions video, I'll definitely give you like a cat update. Things I've learned from having a cat. Things I'm learning about having a cat. There's a lot of learning, a lot of realizing things, you know? She said 30 seconds are up. Um, but yeah, that's it everyone. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them down in the comment section down below. And until next time, bye. Meow everyone. Meow everyone.